so this is a circuit for calibrating a thermistor so here it is a simple circuit we took a fixed 12 volt power supply and then we connect it to a 10 kilo ohm resistance and then one side of that resistance goes to a thermistor and the another side of the thermistor comes out and it is connected to the negative terminal of the power supply and we also attach a voltmeter uh, parallel to this thermistor to measure the voltage drop uh, of the thermistor when we uh, make the circuit on so a thermistor is basically a ceramic polymer uh, which has the temperature dependency of resistance depending on the increase of temperature if uh, resistance uh, increases it is called positive uh, thermistor temperature coefficient thermistor and if with increase of temperature the resistance decreases we call it negative temperature coefficient thermistor so either way we can take an NTC or a PTC and then we actually put it in a water jar in a glass beaker and then we fit a electrical heater here which is actually connected to AC main and giving the switch it will heat the water and we can measure the temperature of this water with the help of this thermometer and we will note the voltage with the temperature at every 5 degree interval when we will decrease this uh, hot water so uh, the temperature will decrease and every 5 degree in every 5 degree we will take the uh, value of the voltage uh, corresponding to the temperature we don't take it in the way of raising the temperature because it is too fast and in that case it is not an equilibrium result but when the temperature decreases it decreases slowly and then we can take the um, voltage drop uh, according to the temperatures and then we will plot a graph which is a voltage versus the uh, temperature graph and from that we can actually calibrate this um, thermistor whatever it is uh, if it is PTC or NTC we can actually calibrate so that we can use how much voltage it can be produced uh, it will produce at what temperature it can be calculated from that calibration curve so we will use this simple circuit to calibrate a thermistor after that we will use a thermistor in uh, designing a temperature controller with the help of this calibration curve and other components so this is the circuit as we have shown in the picture so this is the power supply this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal of power supply and positive terminal goes to a 10 kilo ohm resistance this is a 10 kilo ohm resistance as uh, you can see I think Okay. So this is the circuit as we have shown in the picture. 
so this is the power supply this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal of power supply and positive terminal goes to a 10 kilo ohm resistance this is a 10 kilo ohm resistance as as you can see it's a 10 kilo ohm resistor and one part and from the next part of 10 kilo ohm resistor it goes to a thermistor and the second part of the thermistor goes to another terminal that is the negative terminal of the uh, power supply and we have also connected uh, on the both terminal a voltage meter voltmeter which is here we have used a multimeter uh, to measure the voltage DC voltage and that black terminal is a negative terminal and the red terminal is the positive terminal connected to two sides of the thermistor and this is the thermistor as you can see it has it is the ceramic material it has two terminal connected with wires and this two where actually comes to here where we have previously shown and this thermistor is dipped into the water beaker and this is the thermometer with which we can actually read the temperature and this is the electrical heater this is the electrical heater what we are using for heating so now as we switch on the power supply you can see that it's a 12 volt power supply it is showing us 12 volt and the voltmeter is showing 117.6 millivolt it is in the range of 200 millivolt as you can see and it is showing us 117.6 millivolt across the thermistor it is at room temperature and so we have not started yet the heating of uh, the water so now we can start heating the temperature by putting the switch of the heater to the AC main and if we do that we will see the rise in the uh, temperature uh, with in the thermometer and as well as the change in this uh, voltage drop across the thermistor here this is the thermometer by which we can see how much the temperature is raised you can see it is almost 32 degree now so we can start heating now and we will see the so we have started heating the water and you can hear the whistling sound of heating process and the temperature of this water will raise as it can be shown from the thermometer as you can see that it is started raising is going towards 
40 so it will start raising the temperature very fast and at the same time if we see the changes in the voltage we can see that there will be a change in the voltage across this thermistor it is it has started decreasing it is starting it is decreasing very fast you can see as it is dropping down as the temperature is increasing so it's a negative temperature coefficient thermistor we can see and uh, now you see this thermometer as we concentrate on the thermometer So you can see the mercury is rising very fast it is almost now in the level of 70 or something like that so now at the time when this water will radiate heat and it will decrease the temperature will decrease at the same time the voltage across this thermistor will increase and we will take the data at a particular interval let's say 4 degree uh, after 4 degree decrease we will take the temperature uh, record the temperature and at the same time we will record the um, voltage across the thermistor and then we will plot these uh, data in a curve called calibration curve and then we will use the calibration curve for our desired value of voltage to maintain some temperature in a temperature controller or something like that.